John here guys and today we're talking about the toolkit m6 lipo charger this is the latest in a string of extremely portable uh, chargers out there and this is the tiniest I've ever seen um, you all we all know this one the ISDT Q6 this is one of the gold standard chargers that we all know is perfectly safe perfectly reliable and this one makes it look gigantic this is already small this is even smaller uh, if i hold it up kind of next to my iphone you can see this is an iphone x 10 whatever it's much much smaller comes with some little instructions and a usb to usb cable now you can plug this into a power bank to kind of cycle through the functions but that's not going to be enough power to actually charge a lipo battery i tried it with this success pack i also tried it with a little uh, 3s pack it's just not enough i'm not really sure what that's for um, but as you cycle through all the functions this is one of the first battery chargers that i've seen have a different layout on there now there's four categories there's settings charging checking and uh, there's a measurer to kind of really go on there and then there is a readout of your output so if i plug this into the import the fan immediately kicks on you get a nice little beep and here you have your thing now it may look like this is a touch screen on the screen but it's not there is touch screen controls but there are or or you know tap controls over here and this is how you cycle through the different things your square on the top is to escape and your circle key on the bottom is to enter so if i want to go into the charger settings i just hit that right there i can have i can see here that there's a few options going to a lipo setting by default with my ending voltage at 4.2 volts which is what you want and then your current charge is going to be at 2 amps now you can manipulate these settings before you start charging uh, one other thing to keep in mind though guys is that this as, and you may have guessed by how small it is it does not have its own power supply so you will need to provide one so this charger is extremely portable but your power supply may not be also this thing is a great price at only 25 bucks but your power supply is likely going to cost much more now i built this power supply out of an old three xbox 360 power brick and i put an xt60 connector on the end uh, you can buy various power supplies they're usually 40 to 60 dollars but keep in mind so to really get up and charging you're gonna need to spend a lot more than this 25 dollars but if you already have a power supply if you have a giant lipo battery pack that you use to charge your other lipos if you're flying toothpicks 300 milliamp 2s packs you can bring a couple of these 6s bad boys and fly comfortably for quite some time using this into the input um it's really nice so this is two to six s charging with this thing and you know most of these charges work pretty good now one notable thing that this does has is it does have the ability to monitor not only each individual cell and how balanced it is but it also has the ability to monitor the internal resistance of each of those cells making sure that they are perfectly aligned that can help you to gauge the age and the vitality uh, left in your pack how uh, how likely is this to give you full ability to send your quad with plenty of power now uh, a friend of mine when we flew the qualifier last weekend he had some old packs um, and they've been flying for practice just fine but when he really pushed it he was getting low battery voltage within the first 15 seconds and was not able to complete every round if you've been monitoring with a simple charger like this you could have potentially seen some of the degradation in those cells by monitoring that internal resistance and noted that those packs probably needed to be replaced even though physically they looked perfectly fine so just keep in mind what do you guys think 
I did note that one of the people we were flying with at that qualifier had his charger go down. It just stopped working for some reason. And at those large events, you absolutely need to be able to continue charging packs throughout the day so that you can keep flying. Um, he had an extra one of these, a spare charger. It had never even occurred to me to bring a spare charger with me in case mine went down. So I am gonna keep this in my flying case so that if my main charger goes down, I still have the ability to keep flying. A lot of times we travel to these events hours and hours away driving across states, <laughs> you know, in some instances. So, you know, this is not gonna take up a lot of room in your bag and it is a little bit of extra insurance. Or if you're just getting started and you need an affordable charger, I can think of no better option because these on a good day are 40 to $50. This is still great, but why not just get something a little cheaper to get you started and then upgrade to what I consider the best charger is. That's gonna be coming soon. I'm gonna have a full series of videos on chargers very, very soon. So stay tuned to keep abreast of all of the latest developments in that. Thanks guys.